how do you guys like my new hair? It's, it's, I'm just trying it. Tell me what you think, honestly, in the comments down below. If you think it looks bad, just let me know. I'll probably go back to what I was doing before, but I don't know. I was thinking about maybe growing my hair out. I'm just rambling. You guys want to just try something really quick? So I got this one cup here over there with all my trash of Totino's pizzas and stuff. And this cup's empty, right? So I wanted to see if I could add water that's in this one to this what to this cup and see what happens. Hmm. Not exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Eh, maybe it is, let's see. Oh sort of worked. It was like a one time thing. A one shot because uh, I, I I emptied out like the the super absorbing crystals from a diaper. I, we have adult diapers around this house. I know, I know, it's weird, but we used it for a video. So I emptied out the super absorbing crystals, and then I put them in this cup, and now the water is all gone. Maybe I should do it again. Here, hold on. There they are. That's that's what came out. It's a uh, really gross feeling. A little bit of water in there, you hear? You take the water and you pour it into this cup, right? And then you wave your magical hands. Magical hands. The most magic of hands ever. Magical hands. Too much water. Darn it. Why? Why me? It's the second time this has happened to me. So apparently I'm just not patient science man enough. Look. Now? Oh, that's what was supposed to happen. I poured the water into the one and it was supposed to turn solid like that. Stupid science. So that's that's the, you, pretty much what I did is I cut open some diapers and there's these little crystals inside that I need to go find out what those are called for you, don't I? Sometimes when I look things up, I want it to be like the most ridiculous name in the world. Instead, these things are just called super absorbent polymers. That's like self-explanatory. I don't know what a polymer is, but super absorbent definitely explains what that just did. Definitely absorbed all of it. There it is. It can't be poured out. Yay. When we have a scientific experiment that doesn't go well, what do we do? We go outside and see if we can see fireworks that people are still setting off from the 4th of July, which was yesterday, or also the 3rd of July, which was the day before yesterday. Three firework days in a row. I hate my fan. You're my only firework, Moon. I can hear them. Oh, look, you can barely see them over the trees. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, that was kind of uneventful compared to the last two days. I could hear them going off all over the place. I just couldn't see them. You guys probably didn't want to see fireworks anyways. You silly people. I guess I should probably talk about this finally. It did happen like in our backyard. Not actually in our backyard, but like in our neighborhood. Not actually our neighborhood, but in Orlando. <laughs> that was a big confusing mess. But the Casey Anthony trial. So a lot of people are like, oh, she's guilty. She's so guilty. I can't believe they found her. By the way, they found her not guilty of uh, murder child abuse and something else. Uh, they did find her guilty of like check fraud and lying to the police, nothing too crazy. But uh, people are uh, super upset that they found her not guilty of murder, even though everybody's like, listen, we know that she killed her daughter if she didn't kill her daughter, her parents did, somebody helped her out with it, all this other stuff. But here's the thing, they couldn't tell us, anybody, they couldn't say, this baby died, how? They can't say, okay, the baby drowned. Oh, the baby was shot. The baby died, was choked. They couldn't say any of that stuff. So therefore, how do you prove that somebody killed the baby if you can't say how the baby was killed? Right? Aside from the fact that it was put in a bag and all this other stuff. But you can't say who killed her if you don't know how she was killed. There's, that's, that's the reasonable doubt. We, we work on this jury of the peers thing with reasonable doubt. And uh, if you can prove prove beyond a reasonable doubt, meaning there is no reasonable doubt in your mind, like saying, okay, she might not have killed her because we don't really know how the baby was killed. That to me is a reasonable doubt. Therefore, she was proven not guilty. Now, if uh, prosecution goes out, finds how the baby was killed, does a little bit more research, and then appeals, 
which is very likely, more than likely they will find her guilty of first degree murder and child abuse with aggravated manslaughter. And not to mention the, the mother and father more than likely have something to do with all of this, so they're probably going to get charged with something too. As soon as we find out more information about the case. I think she got tried a little bit too soon. Either that or somebody pushed it to go soon because the prosecution didn't have all their ducks in a row. Get your ducks in a row, prosecution. Good times. You guys let me know what you guys think about this whole Casey Anthony thing. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and now it's time to pay the price.